Okay, greetings, everybody. Uh, we're now here for a third time. It's, um, this is almost done. It's almost finished. I'm almost finished with the profile interview. Um, okay, so <clears throat> the other topic, why I haven't really exposed myself yet. Um, okay, so I'm currently working on trying to get a self-image of what my higher self, you know, of what my higher self wants to look like. Uh, before I start posting videos, um, I think it might be pretty cool to, you know, um, you know, just make videos as my higher self, and that way I have more, I would have more of a clarity to what, you know, I want to portray, and <clears throat> just, you know, an image of, you know, what I want to portray to people, and, you know, just what I feel, you know, my starseed mission is, and all that. So I'm a rough estimate to probably when you guys will see me again uh, would be like around like mid July or late July or August. Um, that's probably when I'll you know have my image together. <clears throat> okay, now the next topic is why I feel I'm a star seed. Um, so. This is just like the higher self. I have a deep, intimate feeling that I know I am here to make it help make a difference with certain people. Uh, the New Age movement is here; it just won't go away. And I know other star seeds feel the same about this too. You know, if if at all, you guys are gaining some clarity, some more clarity on, you know, where you came from. Uh, we are all, in my opinion, we are all characters in a story called Life, <laughs> a Matrix movie. <clears throat> I, I just know that the star seeds are here to trigger something, you know, on Earth, whether it be a worldwide peace or an uprising. I just don't know what it is yet. And finally, my life purpose. Um, my life's purpose is to meet other star seeds like me and help find their higher selves as well. <clears throat> I feel that if we can unite together for a greater cause, then our saga will be forever in our lives, knowing that we had made a difference uh, here, you know, in this lifetime. And that's something worth living for. Uh, if you want, if you guys want to know, like, who I listen to on YouTube and who I really get my um, my information from. The first per the first person would be um, Santos Bonacci. Um, he has really <clears throat> he has really changed my life. Um, I I have listened to almost all of his videos, or you know, uh, mostly mostly all of them. I don't know if I've listened to all of them. But yeah, Santos Bonacci is really is a really good he's a really good astro theologist um, teacher. You know, you can learn um, you know about different um, like different astrological things he does and he talks about and <clears throat> just like uh, the Illuminati and stuff like that um, topics like that. Vatican, you know, that's really, that's really a topic that he does. And then also I'm listening to, um, uh, a gentleman named Seven Bomar. He's really, he's really good too. He has a lot of, you know, he, he has a lot of information, really. Um, so yeah, those people, and I'll post more, uh, some more people you could probably learn about, guys, from, on the internet. I'll post down on the uh, description. All right. Well, that's it for my interview. Hopefully, hopefully I'll see you guys face to face here soon. I know it's gonna be a while, but um, <clears throat> I mean, if I have, if I absolutely have to post another video, it'd pro it's probably gonna have pictures and not really me on there. But you know, like I said, I'm. I'm really, I'm trying to work, I'm working on it, and, you know, I'll be seeing you, I'll be seeing you guys here again soon. Um, have a nice day, and don't forget to get out into nature, because, it, you know, nature really wants to connect with you more. Um, 
till next we meet. Thank you guys. I really, truly appreciate the views. Um, okay, so that's it. And um, let's see, I don't think there's anything else I want to talk about.